Hello again and welcome. On this uh, tutorial what I'm going to be showing you is how to increase the lathe's capacity. Um, what I have is an old Atlas wood lathe with a 12 inch swing and at this point what I've done is I have removed the tailstock from the lathe, basically just swung it out all the way to the end, pulled it out, removed this. I'm going to have to replace this bolt right here to a longer bolt, about three inches longer than this one. I have put it aside for now, removed my tool rest as well uh, by turning it. Uh, sideways and swinging it out and get it out uh, put it out of the way probably not going to do anything to increase the height on this other than uh, get a longer shaft uh, uh, tool rest um, my idea is to increase the capacity of this lathe to go from a 12 inch to a 16 inch uh, lathe. Now I've gone ahead and I've removed the bolts from the back of the lathe and ultimately what I want to do, uh, not with this because I doesn't have a good uh, glue surface so I'll be picking up some lumber to make up this uh, riser block and the way this is going to work is I'm going to add three three quarter inch rises to this. The tail stack itself has these two grooves over here or uh, tails and they will sit right inside this get the long bolt to go to it and I'll be able to slide this up and what that's going to do is give me right now I have nine inches but I have to notch this down uh, to fit the uh, the rail of the uh, lathe itself to keep it true uh, so that will drop down a little bit so ultimately when all said and done is I'll end up with a 16, maybe, maybe a 17 inch uh, swing on my lathe. So with this out of the way, this was just something I was trying to, uh, to play with to make sure that it was going to work for me. Get this out of the way. I've removed three mounting bolts. Uh, that we're mounting this uh, to the table. I have one here, one on the back side, and one on the tail end. Put those off to the side. Those will be the same uh, because I'm not going to change any height difference on the table itself other than the, uh, the headstock itself. So the only way to get to the headstock to the bolts on it is there will be three bolts. One bolt on this corner, one here, and one main bolt that's on the back and the detail stock and the only way to get that because I've removed these bolts out of the way now I can swing my lathe bed out of the way tilt it on its back and here's the three bolts that I'll need to uh, remove these will have to be re uh, replaced with bolts that are three inches longer than here so this will have to be three inches longer than uh, the one that's existing over here now the belt is just pulled out out of the pulleys on the uh, motor itself so it's in here but uh, uh, something is going to have to be done because apparently this will be further away from the motor so I either put razor blocks on the motor itself uh, to do that but initially um, 
one of the uh, other things that I want to do to this lake, and it's not going to be with this particular project, is I want to add a uh, step pulley to this. So uh, a camshaft, um, I believe that's what it's called. So basically between the lathe and the motor, I want to put another large pulley with the factory three-step pulleys in here, the four-step pulleys in here. So the belt is going to have to be changed uh, to, uh, to go into the different things. And the reason why I want to do that is because the slowest speed on this lathe is 635 RPMs um, at the moment, which is fairly fast for a 12-inch bowl if you're uh, making one from a log, a natural edge or something like that. Um, I mean, at that speed, if you have it very well balanced already, uh, it's not too bad. But, you know, I really want to bring this lathe down uh, with a reduction gear to half of that. So, you know, uh, making it anywhere from 300 and maximum speed on this is like 40, 4600, which is, I don't see the need for any lathe to have anything of that sort. So. My idea is to make a couple of uh, steps on that uh, large pulley itself um, so I can probably go back to a 1 to 1 ratio and a 1 to 4 ratio or 1 to 2 ratio minimum uh, on a spindle speed. So if I go uh, 1 to 2 I will reduce the speeds all in half and if I stay on that speed range well even when I go to the highest speed of the, the things it's still going to give me 20 2800 has the high speed end and I don't think I need anything that goes faster than that so we'll see how that goes but for now that I'm going to concentrate on this. Okay, I'm back. Actually, I uh, just went to Home Depot and I just picked up some standard bolts. Uh, they're not square heads, so I'm hoping that it will work for me either way. Um, didn't feel like going to Granger, they're a little bit of ways, but it's the same thread. So, and they're three inches longer than the ones that I are. Uh, that were on the lathe initially. So, pick these up. <clears throat> okay, that one is for the main. And picked up one piece of poplar, about six feet in length, and I cut them up into these rectangles. And it's a little bit on the narrow side, but it won't. It won't interfere. Uh, I wish it was a little bit wider, but this is fine. So I'm going to be gluing up these four blocks for the tailstock, these four for the headstock. Once I get them glued, they're dry. I'm going to take them to the uh, uh, my disc sander and just knock off the edges, get this nice and smooth. Take it to the table saw, cut up the groove for this and the one for the rail itself to go in there and that will be. So let me uh, get this set up and I'll be right back. Apply a good amount of glue to each piece and spread it up. OK. 
in. I've got enough where it's not going to be gushing out all over the place, but definitely enough to get this. Once I get the, all uh, the glue spread, I'll put this on my drill press with pressure and lock that in. Stop until it dries. I have the first set under my drill press with plenty of pressure and I got the nice glue gush out uh, so I'll just wait a few minutes meanwhile I'll be setting up the next one and it's basically do the same thing Um, and I, even that I didn't see any other than homemade. I've seen some metal ones. Uh, somebody made a steel uh, one that just showed pictures again, uh, the tailstock and the uh, the headstock of it. And uh, you know, and I like I said, I've seen one made out of oak, so I'm making one out of poplar and uh, see how that goes. Be back in a little bit. Okay, I got my tail stock lined up over here. Uh, like I said, it's indented in a little bit, but that's not a problem. And I'm transferring these rabbits that I hear for the bedway and for the top itself. And what I'll do is I'll run this on the table saw and just with a regular blade and clear it up uh, this stock right here and uh, do a fit and see how it uh, fits on right on here so the whole piece sits nice and flat over here. It won't matter too much if there's a little void in between here but my aim is to get it where everything sits nice and tight. Once I get this one done then I will do the bedway and what I'll do is clear up the outsides, not the inside. So, be right back. Okay, on my table saw. And I've lowered the blade to the height that I need for that to take out that groove. Now I need to set back so I am cutting that I'll flip it over okay that looks good on that side and that looks good on that side
Okay, so I didn't get everything 100%, you can just chop this up, pass a, a plane on it, or uh, a chisel, and just get them off. Now my idea, once I get this all fitted up, is actually I'm going to prime this in metal grey, and uh, Okay, moment of truth will be to check to see if this width, I have it exact to the uh, width that I need. And yes, perfect fit. Just a little bit of movement, but that's the amount of movement that I have on the... Well, it's a little bit tighter there. I don't think that's bad. I'm sure that will work. Work fine. Like I said, you know, then I'll just bring this to the uh, my sand around this edge, clean up the front and the back, and uh, we'll be good. Now I have to make the the bottom one. But while I have the saw set up for this, I'm going to make the other keyway for the headstock. And uh, the headstock is different. <laughs> in the sense that has the same thing but I have to make this opening for the belt to pass through so um, at one point I'll probably make a notch right over here cut it through so I can go with my band saw I don't have a scroll saw uh, to cut this out so the keyway is the same so I'm just going to bring this one back up and line up the, the saw with it. Perfect. Perfect fit. No wobble. I am happy. Now do the transfer straight down and take off a quarter of an inch on each side over here, uh, the outsides. Do the other one. Okay. I have it where it slides nice and easy on the bedway, and I'm just gonna tool this up a little bit round off the corners slightly, uh, get a nice clean look on this. 
and for this I'm just going to use my uh, disc sander. You can use anything that you have, really. So, uh, I will be putting a, a posting on how I made this one. Could have been a little bit closer with my cut, so not as much sanding, but everything is nice and tight. So, Okay, using the Phillips, I was able to transfer the whole, the area that I needed the hole on uh, on this for my bolt. So I'm going to take this to the drill press. the bolt through. I tightened it up, slid it all the way out of the uh, tail way up at the bottom, got it as close as I could. Now I have, well, the, the bed is still not tied up, but a good grip on it and nice and smooth travel on this. So what I got to do next for this, this end, Okay, I've gotten both blocks done. A little void here, but uh, this will be under pressure. Um, fits the bedway nicely, nice and snug. Now what I gotta do is transfer these holes to over here, drill them out on a drill press, and cut this out on the band so I guess uh, I can't think of any other way I can do that on a lay bed that would be a lot easier
Okay. So that's basically what I gotta do. Is I gotta cut to this and I'm gonna figure out what's the best way for me to get to this out. I don't know if I wanna come in this way or this way and then bring my bandsaw all the way around. I'll probably do it right, right over here since this area has a larger hole and it will be a weaker spot. So take it to the drill press, make these two holes and then cut out the center. <clears throat> okay, I've raised up the bed with some temporary blocks enough to uh, get this through. I need a larger bit. It will go. Okay, so with this done, clean out these little shavings. Okay, so I got this cut up. I have this little gap here. Uh, I don't think that's going to pose me any type of a problem. This is going to be under pressure on both ends. This part is not going to be sliding in one way or the other so it will be fixed. What I'll do is probably just get a little wedge and uh, put it in there with a little bit of glue uh, and that will give me a nice wrap up on that. Doesn't have to be anything special. So let me cut something up really tiny for that. <coughs> That's about an inch and a half thick. This is the lamp I need.
There it is. That will be. Okay. Here it is. Uh, I must say, getting the uh, the headstock in uh, was quite a project. Um, I had to oversize the two holes going through the blocks. Uh, couldn't get the bolts to line up exactly over uh, on this area over here. So. Uh, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how careful I was and uh, how accurate I lined it up from inside. There was just that little bit off. Uh, so it took some doing and I had uh, my wife actually help me hold up the lathe. And the way I finally did it was extend it out, rest it up on, away from the floor so I could work it upright and from underneath. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's... It's complete. The only thing now I need to do is get a longer, longer post from my tool, tool rest. Um, this one was always just on the borderline on its size anyway. So uh, I'll have one made up or uh, order one that has a slightly longer post. The, uh, they are smack center with each other. Um, I ended up with a nice swing on the lathe. I got eight and three quarters to the tip over here, so giving me a 17 and a half. Well, since I've gone through all of this and I have to move the motor one way or the other to uh, get the belt to fit, I decided the task is actually going to be to uh, put that pulley on it and reduce its speed. Uh, so uh, this week will be what I've done up to now. Uh, next week video will be uh, the installation of that. There we go. Okay. I can't have much uh, play on the lock, but it locks fine. Gives me a little spring, spring load on it. But that's what I needed to do. Um, but uh, uh, it was a nice project, uh, and like I said, here, just bringing that up. A